Hi there, so this is Pam with Jumpstart Code. We want to talk a little bit more about the table that we just set up and talk about how to add some formatting to it. So we just created a very simple table over here and we talked about the table tag is how you set it up. TR is for rows, TH is for header cells, TD is for data cells. Now this doesn't look much like a table. It just looks like text. So how can we, you know, put the boxes around it to make it look like a table? That requires some styling. And styling is done using CSS. That's the language. Now, in future videos, we'll talk about how to put CSS in a separate file. But for this example, we will put our CSS in the HTML file. You can do this. When you do it in your HTML file, you tend to put it here in the head section. And I'm going to use a style tag. And you notice it has an open and a closing. Now, CSS is a, actually a separate language. And so as we put this in our HTML, the syntax looks a little different from uh, HTML syntax. What I want to do is put a border. You can put a border around anything. And when you style something, you first have to specify the thing that you want to style. So let's say I want to style the table. So that's the element. I then use um, curly brackets to define inside of the curly brackets the formatting that I want to apply to the table. So what we're going to apply is a border. And borders can have a width and, they, and a color and they can be solid or dashed or, or uh, dotted. So I'm just going to make one pixel, PX, solid black. And you notice there is a semicolon here. So again, this syntax in here looks very different from HTML syntax because it is CSS syntax that is inside of these style tags. All right, so let's see what happens when we do this. Let's refresh the page. And you see a border around the entire table, right? Because that's what I specified. Now, if I want borders around all the individual elements as well, then I need to apply the same styling. I'm going to use a comma. And if I apply it to TR, that's my row elements. So let's just see what happens when we add that. So we don't see much of a change there. Let's add our um, TH and see what happens there. So we'll save. And you see my, my header elements now have borders around them. And so actually we don't need TR. What we need are the individual cells. So we need the TD and we need the TH. So let's save this. And you can see now we see borders around all of our elements. Now, there are lots of ways to format things, and you can get fancier, but we're just staying very simple for right now. Now, one more thing that I want to add here. You may not want these to all look like individual boxes inside of boxes. Maybe you just want one set of lines. So that requires another CSS property. So here inside of the same thing, the property that we want to use is border collapse. And when I do a colon, you see the editor is trying to help me know what the options are. And so I think the default is separate. What I want to do is collapse the borders, right? So again, let's see what we have right now. I'm going to save and then refresh the page and you can see the effect of collapsing the borders. So that's how you can get a table that looks like all the individual boxes of the table. What we had to do is specify um, that styling that is applied to these three elements, and the styling is inside of these curly brackets. We want to specify a border. So notice the syntax inside. There's a property with a semicolon. And this is the value that you are applying to that property. And there is a, uh, a colon there, sorry, and a semicolon here. 
And if I want to apply multiple properties to the same elements, then they can all go inside of the same set of curly brackets. So that allows you to apply this styling and make your table look a little bit more like a table. You want to change the color of this. For example, if I change it to red, then I get red borders. If I want these, if I make this a bigger number, then that means the width of these borders will be thicker. So there's lots of fun you can have playing around with that. And the best way to really learn these things is to take a simple example and just play around with it so that you can understand the cause and effect. That's the important, th the most important thing to understand in programming. So have fun styling your tables.